Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. We have just unlocked the Darkfall Chamber. Which I suspect is where we're going to end this. Well, there's our friends. Sleep well, my son. Edgar did not cry. At that very last moment, I was proud of my son. Cast a soul into the pit. The dark fall will rise. The others cast their offerings into the blackened pit. Only then did the darkness rise to reveal its true form. It is magnificent and strange. Speak the runes in order. All seven. Five scholars, five offerings. Jericho's finest feed the darkness. Speak the lyrics, follow the order of the runes. So now for dear Isabella, a dreadful fall awaits. So this is the order to say them in. So if we are supposed to say them in order, then we definitely want to do it in the reverse order. <laughs> God, what is that noise? Okay, I think we need to go mess around with the computer and all the runes around there. I think that's where we do something with the runes? Ah. So I guess this is to figure out which symbol is associated with which sound? I guess it'd be the one that seems the most active. That one, right? are ancient symbols used for centuries in divination and fortune telling. They are cast onto a surface where they form patterns, creating meaning and symbology for interpretation by the caster. A trained, experienced eye can spot the words and even sentences in what to others would look like a random scattering of stones. The software can determine possible translations, but it will be up to you to pinpoint definite messages. I mapped each symbol to each sound, and I have that in my notes so I can reference it. I think I know what to do to progress this, actually. I forgot about the part where we need to give it a soul, so I think I need to throw this in. <laughs> it's really cool looking. Okay, yes, I can say the sounds, which I know is associated with which symbol, because I've mapped them. So this is the order that they want me to say them in. Instead, I'm going to start from this symbol, 
going backwards. Which is... Oneda. Oneda. Mafen. It hears me. Fentok. Ma tok. Onesev. So fen. So And then the very last one, Da Fen. I see that didn't work. Took a peek at the walkthrough. Once again, I'm glad I did. The order of the runes is not as it appears in the book. That would be way too easy. It's as it appears on the house, on the stone carvings outside, and some of them are still in the building, can be viewed at the drone, some have fallen down, some others, I don't know. And then you're supposed to look at some paintings with a night vision camera to figure out the order of those locations. And I don't, I don't know. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, uh, looking at the walkthrough and the actual order that we're supposed to do, gonna do it in reverse. Onesev. Da Fen. Ma Tok. Ma Fen. Oneda. Oneda. Fentok. So fen. So Anyone there? Listen to me. Get out of the house. Take the quickest route. Leave the gear. This is our only chance. Get to bed, fan. Let's go, go, go. Sounds great. Nope, not there. Are you there? Anyone? I'm I'm getting out of here. I was stuck. Trapped. Got to get out. We must get out. I think this place is going to collapse. Me, by the van.
Okay, hold on. I'm going to skip the credits for now, but we're going to watch them later. Because that's the ending that I consider the real one. It's the one I chose to do. However, what the heck happens if we read them the way the Dark Fall wants us to read them? So Fen. So Fen. Fentok. Oneda. Oneda. Ma Fen. Ma Fen. Ma Tok. Ma Tok. Da Fen. Da Fen. One Sev. out of the house. Take the quickest route. Leave the gear. This is our only chance. Get to bed fast. Let's go, go, go. Achievement, get killed by the Darkfall, bad ending. Okay, yeah, pretty much the same thing, except we die. <laughs> Let's finish with some thoughts on Darkfall Ghost Vigil. There's some stuff that I liked a lot and some stuff that I really didn't like. It's probably pretty obvious at this point that I really didn't like the puzzles. Probably by the fact that I used a walkthrough constantly for the second half of the game. And I'm very glad I did that, because it at least made it tolerable. The puzzles mostly just aren't very good. There's there's a severe lack of direction and focus and guiding you in the right direction. So many times I just had no idea even slightly what the game expected me to do and even knowing the solution from the walkthrough, I still couldn't understand how I was supposed to arrive at that conclusion. So many of the puzzles are just so obscure and with no clear connection or, or flow from the start of it to the solution. So many times I said to myself, that's what I was supposed to do? But thankfully I've learned that when it comes to that in a game, the best thing to do is not beat my head against a wall and spend hours trying to solve these things on my own, but rather just use a walkthrough. It's so much better. Now, the stuff I liked. I love the entire setup. Just from the very beginning, coming into this creepy ancient mansion with a horrible past, absolutely cursed, and you're going in with all this ghost hunting equipment happening in the middle of the night with no permission, just illegally breaking into this place <laughs> and going ghost hunting with some experienced ghost hunters. That's really cool. It's such a great setup. And it's also really damn creepy. And now that I think of it, I don't remember them ever using a single jump scare. 
which is actually really impressive. I respect the restraint. It didn't need that to be scary. It's scary enough just being here in the dark with all sorts of spirits. Some benevolent, some not, just swirling around and echoes of children and screams and phone calls from the dead. and <laughs> Just all of that was creepy enough. I really enjoyed learning how to use all these ghost hunting tools at the very beginning in the attic when we have to use basically all of them and figure out how they work and find stuff in the attic for each one. That was really fun, just because they're cool gadgets and they all have their own sort of, if not mini game, at least they have their own learning curve for each of them. And I was excited to use all this cool tech. Although, unfortunately, and weirdly, after the attic, the use of the ghost hunting tools seems to go way, way down. You still use them all the time, a little bit, but not nearly as heavily as I thought you'd use them. After the attic, the EMF reader rarely registered anything. The thermal camera was mostly useless. Yeah, it's a shame. I really feel like they were underutilized. So that has been Darkfall Ghost Vigil. Thank you for watching.